wako chini ya katiba kama sisi ruza kuwa na mikutano Kenya hii iko ndani ya kati ya katiba and they seem not to have woken up uh, are enough what they are saying are the things we were fighting kanu against those are this and no agency can take us back there yes. and that's why we are saying there is a limit don't push us beyond those limits umesikia wao wakisema wache kusema wewe ni mtoto ya maumau hawa ndio maumau you didn't you don't understand what maumau was it was a spirit of fighting for your people and fighting for what is just and what is truth so don't tell us yet nyinyi ni watoto maumau wenyewe ndio hao we have the kamkwe we have a lari at kibula thereafter we will go to machakos and we roll out to the countryside and we will have these meetings everywhere these are people's barasas Yes, we are the opposition. We want to hear what people are saying about the kind of governance they have, they are under. Yes, kama already huko na shida na wananchi kusema shida zao, wewe sasa ni kiongozi aina gani? We will have those meetings so that people can tell us what they are going through and we will have them across the country and also the direction they would want us to take. Kwa hivyo usistuke. We know how to uh, do opposition differently from what you imagined. I know that is what is scaring you if those rumors because we are also subject to those if those rumors are anywhere near the truth then this government is just like we said is cruel planless rudderless directionless they have no idea of what a government is supposed to do why would you target him na kila wakati ndi kama ndio chakula ukiamuka ni yeye tu na alikupatia mamlaka kasarani hata baada ya kuiba kwa mani you should be thanking uhuru kenyata for a long time for a while in this country we have had uchaguzi ambao imekuwa watu wakimwaga damu that didn't happen even at the hell of insults that you put on him he never allowed himself to allow any fighting or any person to be harmed because of him defending the correct vote to Raira and instead of appreciating then you go out na hii wewe uongo ya mdomo sijui mtafanya nini mnasema ati nyinyi ndio mlifanya yao regional peacemaker kwenda mkadaganyo wengine that was given by the, uh, the african union clearly from what we heard from nandi the government is hell bent on targeting mount kenya for taxation you cannot take over leadership illegitimately like you did and then target a community with taxation not that even the level of taxation in the country is too heavy then he targets Mount Kenya for taxation that we will not allow tuko katika ndani ya azimio yale ambayo Raila Amolo Odinga amesema tuko ndani yake mambo ya kusema ya kwamba hatutabui hii serikali kwa sababu iko kwa viti kinyume ya katiba Now that is common sense if only three commissioners out of seven declare you as a winner and the other four declare you not to have won or did not agree with the win then you are in office in legitimate yes. the other day we had honorable samson cheragei the senator for nandi say that the people of mount kenya have not been paying taxes and therefore they are targeting every move that they are making to ensure that they overtax the people from mount kenya and you are telling them you are kenyans just like the rest of us and all of us have to carry their weight in terms of taxation in this country but we cannot allow a situation whereby the people of mount kenya are being overtaxed they are being targeted to pay more tax than they ought to pay we are suffering we are having a situation whereby people cannot put food on the table people cannot pay for the education of their children right now children are going back to school but a lot of parents cannot be able to meet the fees look at the kids joining the junior high school Look at the kids that are joining the other high school. A lot of parents cannot be able to pay the fees that they are supposed to pay upon the government to ensure that they do what they promised Kenyans that they are going to do. They had indicated that within 100 days they are going to ensure that they bring the cost of living down. They are going to ensure that they make it easy for Kenyans to be able to educate their children, for Kenyans to be able to put food on the table. But we are at a situation whereby it is becoming even more difficult than it was before the election period. Afraid mm. of saying that. Mm. And the president has been saying that they want a robust opposition. We are saying here we are. Yes. Of course. And we are determined to do it. 
And the only thing that is driving us is nothing else but ensuring that the people of Kenya get what they deserve. Yeah, our former president, Fununu Tukiskia, Munataka Kutoa, security. Jaribu tu. Lakini kitu moja nitakuacha na hayo. Unaweza pewa jeshi mingi huku chini. Lakini kuna mmoja aliye juu mwenye anachunga kila mtu. Wewe unafikiria ati uko na jeshi unalala majeshi wameku surround. Unaweza hata nyongwa na mate na ukufe. Kwa hivyo sio sio jeshi inaangalia mtu ni Mungu. Na uongo muache. Muache ku tax wananchi ovyo ovyo. Muache kupandisha vitu ukilala ukiamuka unapandisha vitu ovyo ovyo. Mukasema manifesto yenu ni siku mia moja. Tuko 140 ama 150. Na bado unga inazidi kuongezeka. Nilinunua ni 230. Wacheni kudanganya watu unga ni 180. Imeongezeka. Tax mume watu ongezea. Pesa ya wazee hata aibu hamuna muna kula hadi pesa ya wazee. Hii ni hii ni hii ni hii ni government inakaaje? Inaiba hadi pesa ya Ule muzee kabisa. Pesa ya ofa ni mumetoa. Mumetubakisha nini kwa mfuko. Tuonge hivyo kwa sababu tuko wazimio. Unajua watu wanasema ni mauchungu. Hatuna uchungu hata kidogo. Ile uchungu tuko nayo mingi. Ni ya kuwa ati muwanainchi wanjiko anafinyiliwa. Na tutapigana hadi hiyo kufinyiliwa iishe. Na atukomi. Na atutingi ziki. Sisi tuko nyuma ya. Our SG, sisi ndiyo jeshi yake. Na bado, King P wetu bado ni His Excellency Uhuru Mugai Kinyata. Na tutambui, uyo mwenye anakuja kujifanya King P wa Mount Kenya. Uyo ni wannabe. Tunamitanga wannabe. Mtu mwenye ata, akisimama aonge, sisi wote tunaingia chini ya viti.